Today on Dre Heart, we're going to talk to you about why staying healthy is more than just losing weight. Stick around. What do I mean by being healthy is more than just losing weight? Well, if you're one of the fortunate ones to have lost weight, congratulations. But there's more to being healthy. One of these is by keeping a healthy environment. Have you ever thought about how your environment around you or the things around you can affect your health and can affect the things you do? Well, having a healthy environment around you can affect your mood and can affect how you act. One of the things is, is that if you have a healthy environment that is around you, you keep your environment healthy, you keep a, you know, would you allow toxins to get into your body? Well, why would you allow toxic things to be in your environment? So you want to keep a healthy environment. There's other things as well. One of the other things is to sleep better. Sleeping is a very crucial part of your life. Now, when you don't sleep, and especially when you don't get enough sleep, it affects not only your health, but it affects your well-being through the day. Have you ever, you know, not slept well and, and then try to make it through the day and you feel tired and you feel like you don't have any energy at all? Well, you know, those feelings sometimes can lead to bad habits. Like a lot of people, if they're tired, they want to go out and get that energy drink and get that energy drink which you know peps them up and you know while the energy drinks might not necessarily be a bad thing too much caffeine in your system can cause problems especially with people that have irregular arrhythmias and stuff like that it also leads to bad decisions if you haven't had enough sleep and you're having to think about things and having to do things the decisions that you make are made on a groggy mind Sleep is a crucial part of your life. Another crucial part of your life is to respect yourself. One of the things about being healthy is having a healthy respect for yourself. Whether you're overweight now or whether you're at your weight that you need to be. The unfortunate thing is, is when you don't have a respect for yourself, it leads to other things like lack of motivation. One of the things I talked to you about in my last video was giving yourself a pep talk. And unfortunately, lack of motivation is the most common reason that people give up on doing things. A lot of it leads or derives from having lack of self-respect. They don't respect themselves. So one of the things that you need to have or or to get to become healthy is a respect for yourself. Another thing to help you become healthy is to manage stress. Now stress, I've talked to you about this in some of my other videos, it affects a lot of things. You know, stress itself, a lot of people do not realize that stress itself releases our hormone to your heart and it releases it, well it releases it throughout your brain and it actually releases our hormone that's similar to the fight or flight mechanism that I talked to you about when I talked about heart failure. And so your body is seeing that stress, it's seeing stress and it's doing other things in response to that stress, like it's increasing your heart rate, it's dilating your pupils. And the unfortunate thing about stress is, is as they're recognizing more effects of stress on the body they're also recognizing that stress um, whether you're feeling stressed can lead to things like heart attacks believe it or not you know you want to manage your stress get those symptoms down and i'm going to address you know some of the ways you could do this um, in the future videos i've done it in past videos but i'm going to readdress some of these things but one of the things that you could do to maintain your health is to manage your stress. One of the other things as well 
to losing weight to maintaining your health and maintaining it is more than just losing weight is becoming fit. If you've been watching my videos and you've been looking over some of these things, you will have noticed that I've talked to you about becoming fit. And fitness is a way to help yourself to help your heart. See, that's one of the things that I encourage people is not only just to walk every day, but is to incorporate a little bit of uh, weight exercise into their exercise regimens. And the reason that I do this is, is I realize that if you have toned muscles or you know a toned body, that your heart doesn't actually have to work as hard. Now, some of people say, well, what do you mean it doesn't have to work as hard? Say, for example, when you're, you're wanting to do an exercise workout regime. Now, if you pay attention, say, for example, you started lifting 20 pounds. When you lift 20 pounds, however many times you can lift that 20 pounds, you will have noticed something. You will have noticed an increase in your pulse. Now, the reason why your pulse increases is it's trying to send oxygen and micronutrients and stuff to that muscle to work that 20 pounds. Now, let's say you have never worked this 20 pounds before. Your pulse is going to be higher. If you do the 20 pounds every other day for, say, like, six weeks, and if you was to notice at the end of the six weeks, say you was doing it uh, 20 times the first time, and that 20 times was a struggle. At the end of six weeks, I bet it's no longer a struggle, and I bet that your heart isn't having to work as hard to get that. You will notice that suddenly you don't have the faster heart rate that you had when you started. And the reason is, is you've built up a muscle and that muscle is able to take more of the strain and your heart doesn't have to do that. So these are some of the ways that you can get healthy more than just losing weight. Losing weight is obviously a very important part and that's one of the things that I concentrate on myself. But there's more things that you need to do. You know, some of the other things that I've talked about to people uh, about maintaining their blood pressure, those are other factors that are affected as well, that affect your, your heart health. Now, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have watched this video for the first time and you like it, please press the like button below. And if you're not a current subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I would invite you to subscribe and also to share this video with anybody that you feel needs this information. This is Ray Upchurch. Thank you for joining me. I will see you again.